It's a challenge in life to not see, if you really look, some good and some bad. Humans have always had that attraction to connecting with something afar. Rivers, that's what they do. They connect living things. The good and the bad and the ugly. It was a wonderful thing when I think about it, that you could live right in the middle of three different rivers. Here is this beautiful little town. It's actually a joy to be a part of it. This was a real iconic mill community. They made the biggest lumber mill in the Northwest. There was just this feeling of permanence about the community. People in Milltown, I think, always knew there was something wrong with their water. Where would arsenic be coming from in a town where they make plywood? They earned a lot of money, but they had no respect for the land at all. I probably didn't realize, you know, how much harm it had done. The dam was part of our life. We thought it was wonderful because that was the way it was. <laughs> Having a big obstruction in the river has a lot of impacts to the fisheries and to the natural process of the river. There was serious conflict during those days. A lot of people were older and never got over it. Change is going to happen. I'm afraid that people aren't going to remember anything about the society that was here before. A river teaches us something about ourselves. You never step in the same river twice. The time span of people is so short compared to, say, the stories that the river has to tell.